um, what's his name? Dwight from Center for Counseling called, and Grace McNichols' term is up. He, he, we need to talk to her, see if she wants to be reappointed. That would be you, Clay. Oh, thanks. He reminded me <laughs> there are still two vacancies on the board. Um, Rita Miller and Mary. Mary. Yes. So, okay. I'm waiting for responses. Okay. All right. Um, and um, the Maxfield teachers have contacted us about participating in their Relay for Life team. You know, it's June 15th and Lauren is when they're going to walk. And what they're doing over there is um, every Wednesday, starting this week, the 18th through the 23rd of May, if their teachers and parents want to wear jeans, they put a dollar in a jar, and it all gets donated to the Relay for Life team. I've talked to the department heads, they're all on board with it. Do you guys have a problem with this? Yeah, yeah. They're going to um, donate the money in honor of Becky Gilbert. She's a school nurse over there. She's got cancer. I think it's a really good deal. If, if you guys don't care, we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, this problem. Okay. Cool. That's all I have. Oh, well, I'm sure it's coming up. I have car four bids, but I don't know if the sheriff's coming or not. We can wait on these little bits see if he comes up. Yeah, we'll tax roll correction. We'll wait for Jeff. Yeah. Okay. This will be on the Yeah. Okay, I'd like to motion we approve this tax roll collection. Correction? I'll uh, second it. It's been moved and seconded. We approve this tax roll correction. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried.
majority, probably about six or eight properties that are pretty much destroyed in the county. And then uh, just a, probably around 20 or so, I'd say, that'd be a ballpark guess of ones that sustain some moderate damage. Uh, the state Senate representative uh, out of Dodge that came through this kind of I start right around just kind of showed her some of the, the major areas. That is probably an overview. I'll, I'll put together a regular report on that. Uh, and uh, we can get that to you in the next week or so. The fire response fee, we talked about that. I just wanted to give you a heads up. I'm going to mail that out. It's $250, and that covers the res just the cost of the response. So that will go out. Okay. <clears throat> I thought I made three, but I only made two. The third one is in here. So, if, if you have any questions on, on how that reads. Um, and then the only other thing I have is um, we have a, a six by the six by truck at Hudson is uh, in serious need of tires. And um, of course, it's got six tires, and that's let's see, seven tires. And so those are, we got three bids on that. The uh, bottom bid was from Becker Tire. And that was $224.99 a piece. $224.99. The total, total bill is, seven, the total estimate is seventeen oh three oh three. And that's just kind of another example that those trucks aren't free. And uh, so we, we, we certainly need to keep uh, safe tires on. And, and, and they're just to a point where they're just terrible. So uh, they thought, uh, Marshall thought that we could probably uh, keep a couple of them as, as spares. They really need to replace them all at once. Uh, and, and the even two that we'd say are in terrific shape. So I'd need your approval to, to take care of that 170303. We have the funds to do that. You say from Backer Tire? Yes. And I make a motion we accept this bid from Backer Tire for the 6x6 in Hudson's uh, replacement tires for $1,703.03. Got a second. We moved and seconded. We accept the bid from Backer Tire for new tires for the 6x6 in Hudson. All in favor, say aye. Aye. The only other thing I, I have, just to give you an update on the, we had the uh, the fire which we collected insurance on the uh, six by that was up at Radium and uh, Jerry Sanders has still been working on that. And, uh, he thought he could probably get that motor fixed, but it's not looking like that's going to be the case. So he's looking to see if we can find something as a swap out motor for that. The, the trucks in in pretty decent shape for one of the old trucks, but uh, that was the one that we had about a year ago. We had a fire in and we just, uh, he'd been waiting on parts and stuff and finally got the parts and then... The parts didn't work? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and then he ended up seeing that there was water in the motor and in the oil and it's looking like there's more problems than what he had, he had thought. So we're, we're, he's looking for another replacement motor that we get to drop in. <coughs> And this is another six by six? Yes, from Radium. From Radium. Got a motor the other Yeah, I'm not a motor guy, so I don't know. The little army truck you're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, they're uh, just kind of expensive to work on. Well, it was about 1940. I think they're a little newer than that. But, <laughs> but they are old. And they're just, they're a special truck. Yeah. And special parts. <laughs> That's so, all I have. <clears throat> on this generator for the courthouse, you think there might be a grant available, or we could look. I'll, I'll do some looking and see if we can't find something. It'd be nice to be able to operate more than just the dispatch center too. I don't know what specifically we'd like to target in the building and which which would even um, from a ability to, to tie it in um, if, if there's some other areas in the mm -hmm. building. Well, you get something larger, you could, you could actually, even, say you had a major torn in, you could actually go ahead and, and 
conduct business in the, you know, in Correct. Correct. I don't know, I'll have to shut everything down and move it out. Well, when you got your generator, we talked about it. And whatever, whatever grant that was, we thought the next year we would try and do that. Might be able to do that through the MPT grant. And that would <coughs> get us a long ways towards winning it. We, uh, <coughs> we did also, uh, the city of St. John, their sewer station uh, went down and uh, they were able to use that portable generator that we got through a grant. The one that's on the trailer mm -hmm. at the EMS station. So that that ended up being being utilized. Good. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Cross or the cross show now. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I guess did they make it to every, every house? Is that was that they made it to the it? they made it to the, the ones that suffered the the more serious yeah. damage yeah. and uh, I, I think they, they actually sent some representatives uh, as far as uh, helping with, with food, they, they made it to all the ones that, that had serious, and then I think they went around uh, to just check on people what their needs were, even in the other houses. Good. Good. Yep. I was uh, real pleased to see Steve showed up. I was Roger Dix, and he showed up, and he had been he started down by Max when he was with me, so he went out early and, and, uh, and made the route. I think he did a good job and he got... They had, we had plenty of help, so it wasn't that big a deal, but we could have, you know, had access to help that we needed. It, mm -hmm. it was comforting and we got Red right Cross out there and they did show up, so good for us. come from Roger Dick's a lot of good for us. <coughs> uh, he's a family friend. Has been for a long time. I just I couldn't believe what it looked like. Up there. So, told well, us. you wouldn't have believed it yesterday morning. Sort of like that. It was amazing. <coughs> so amazing. Kurtz wasn't a whole lot better, but he didn't lose his house. Who's Kurt Barrett? But his farmstead's pretty well devastated. It's, it's just heady. What have you got for us? Um, the last tornado that came through was 2010. Um, we, uh, I just want to see what you guys want to do as far as the uh, last tornado we had come through the canyon like that. We lifted, uh, for tornado victims, we lifted <coughs> dump piece. That's something you guys want to do again. Yeah, that's good. That's great. Yeah. They, uh, We got uh, <clears throat> the plans for the uh, stormwater prevention plan. The Terracon sent me a draft. I went through it. Um, I've got some things, some changes I need to make out there. Uh, that's uh, part of KDHU required is this uh, stormwater prevention plan to be in place and be monitored, which I've got to purchase a uh, digital rain gauge. I have to log mm -hmm. daily rainfall, weekly rainfall, monthly, and annual. Uh, there, I, I kind of look at a few of them. I don't know if it's one self comes clear if you're not there on the weekend and rain. After a rainfall, I have to go out and look at the water and analyze it, see if there's any fun with me. Also, just distill it's floating to the top, log it, and then you might pull your log sheets. I haven't yet gone through it, it's about that thick. But uh, I need to do it. Another other thing is add a problem. Yeah. yeah sure. That's, uh, what I was mainly wanting to ask you guys about was don't think if you want to do That's good for the people. Too bad we can't burn the storm to green, but it's not green. Imagine a lot of some of the way up in those tree piles.
Thank you. 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 you. want me to bring anything? Or do you want me to just be there? Just be there. Okay. Okay. Six thirty. Yeah, I'll be some yeah. chain out, so I'll come visit with you a little bit afterwards. Oh, okay. All right. Some of the things we've been talking about. Okay. Unless you need documentation to back up what you're saying. Are we? Yeah. Why are you getting yeah, nervous now? <laughs> <laughs> that was a deer in the headlight. Yeah, that was a deer in the headlight. Me? Okay. All right. I'm really prepared. Okay. You'll be fine. Okay. All right, really, that's why I just didn't want to touch base with him and see if you wanted me to take anything. Well, we'll come, I'll come okay. back with you a little bit. Okay. Okay. I'll just tell you what we've been talking about so you, okay. you can have yeah, be able to answer some of those. You won't be bothered by that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> that was classic. <laughs> Um, I am having um, some copy machine issues, and um, we've been down since Wednesday on my machine, and our contract isn't due until November. That's when it renews, and that would be the time then to purchase a different machine. Um, since we're having so much trouble with it, we can get out of the contract if we go with another machine through OPI, but that would eliminate a bidding process. So I was wanting to ask you guys if that would be okay. They're usually real competitive. I, I did have... What's, what's your problem? You just can't keep it it's, it's just, yeah, can't keep it running. It's How many copies you got through, Joe? How many copies have we got? I'd have to go oh, look. It usually goes to the counter, I'm so. Yeah, it does. And we, we get billed every month for it. But no, I can't call that out of the top of my head. You can't. No. I feel like you prepared this one, did they? But a couple of things that I'm thinking about is th that's what I print the tax statements on. And th so there's a couple options we could do. We could go to just a regular office, smaller copy machine like what Carl has, and hire out the tax printing and not buy such an expensive copy machine. So I was wondering if we could, what your thoughts were. Um, Carl's machine was $6,700. He gave me a copy of his thing that he purchased. And the one, I got a quote last year, so this is a year old. I got this just for budgeting purposes. So it's probably a little bit more than this. It'd probably be around, at last year it was $10,400. So, It'd probably be about a $4,000 difference. <clears throat> yeah, but let me check on having to print it off. It's pretty expensive, but it's a year, gone by year to year thing. When you figure the cost of paper and they do pre sorting, I figured it actually saves the county money. When I presented this to you before, um, we could have actually saved the county money using pre sort. So I'm thinking of downsizing, that's what I, I think I want to do, is downsize the copy machine, not have such a big machine in the office, and then when it comes to tax statement printing time, just have it outsourced. So I don't have to have this big machine, or another option, get a big machine to put like maybe back in my vault and then have just a regular copy machine in my office. I think first, once you see what the cost is out of the day, first step I would tell you since a year old, that would be a dare. Mm -hmm. It's about the same price. I wouldn't have a lot yet, but 
but I'd like to, um, well, I will go ahead and upgrade. I mean, because I can't, I can't function with this copy machine. Or this. It's been down, and there's, they think they might get it fixed today, but, I, you know, I, I need one, so. And this is under the maintenance agreement? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, if you're, you're down, why can't they bring one in for you to use until I get this one fixed? Well, Rather than just being down for a week. They're ordering all the parts, but even though yeah. it's just down, just like every time it breaks down, they have yeah. to come and fix it. That's what's getting so overwhelming and unproductive. It's just, and it's like the postage machine it is and on its last leg, too. And I think <clears throat> our contracts do with the postage machine in June. Um, it was a four-year maintenance agreement. I think we better go with three-year maintenance agreements from now on. And the same way with the copy machine. I think I better, because four years is just, the equipment's really worn out by the time you get to that fourth year. And you're just limping it along in the last year. <coughs> So I just wanted to run across the what mm -hmm. some of the ideas that I'm planning on on doing. I don't know which what direction I'm going to go yet, but I just wanted to inform you what what I'm thinking that I'm going to do. So what are some of like Pratt and Barton? What do they use? They're obviously send out more postage. You know. More tax statements. What are they? What are they using? More and more counties are going to this pre-sort. Um, they just outsource having the tax statements printed. You download, you download your tax file to them, and I mean they can do it in one day. And you know they, it prints the statement, stuffs it, that pre-sorts it for you, so you get cheaper postage. And, they can do it more efficiently because they have all these big machines that that do that, and they usually wait till a whole bunch of counties get their stuff to them, and they do it all at once and really make it efficient for the counties. So forty-two dollars a month for the maintenance agreement on this one, and then three thousand black and white copies. Yeah. Yeah. And anything over or above the three thousand is one point four cents per copy. Mm -hmm. We don't do much color copying, do we? No. I I always get there's been one month I've never got my three thousand copies a month. I usually always get my three thousand a month. But I was just thinking I think downsize my copy machine and outsource tax statement printing and I think it's more efficient for the county to save the county more money. Well, I'd like to see what it actually would cost the county so we have some real numbers to work with and compare. Can you, can you come up with real numbers? Yeah, I'd have to look it all up, but like I said, when I presented it before, I think it was a savings of about Fifteen hundred dollars to the county. So okay. it's probably about the same. They can buy paper, you know, they buy bulk paper so much cheaper, they can buy envelopes bulk, and that, that's where they can really save the money, and then they do pre-sort postage, which I can't do 
pre-sort postage because we don't have enough volume. But when they do it, they combine them with a whole bunch of others and they can really do postage savings. And so they're just able to be a lot more efficient than, than when you do it all by yourself. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I guess it's our internet computer and the West phone system monitors are not working. It blew up a microwave, power strip, scanners, and our channel one console. We don't have channel one in our console anymore the, right now. The, the low voltage thing would hit or what? I had I don't think it was low voltage. Surge? I think Surge. it was from our generator. Yeah. It went to 300 volts and everything started popping once they started it. Uh, that generator is quite old and it's not the first time it's Went real high top thing. Yeah, so we lost uh, one of our computer monitors we have sitting out in the middle of the hallway because it popped and blew a cloud of smoke out and they yanked it out right quick. The dispatcher's dead here in the middle of all this. And well, we saw it last morning about the I need a <coughs> different generator down there. That's like, it's been there's it's, it was old and got it all the time. <laughs> yeah. But I just, you know, making you aware. I, I think it, I think it all really evolves around the surgeon from that generator coming back again to us on that emergency lines. And our phone well, systems went out. That generator then is just tied to the dispatch office. This, so this dispatch office, office that's for, apparently. it's only for like 911. It's our emergency 911 patients and everything else right there in that one area. So you got a lot of... Um, we need to call Jolene. The insurance? Okay. And find out if. Tell her what happened. Because I know the health department lost two computers and a printer. But we have a $500 deductible on that, so. But if it's underneath one policy with yeah, us, I don't know. we lost a monitor screen too. It's a test screen. screen. We don't know really what's going on with that. Yet. I have surgery back there myself, but it's not the surgery back there either. Make because it I, it's the low boats that we have. They must have just been on one side of that thing, so the lights got real dim, and I got up pretty much. It tried to burn up everything. Oh, how's anything come on? It burned it all up. And then it um, you don't have any idea what this all awesome. is. <laughs> That's 121 on Channel 1. That's the morning Channel 1 right now. We have CBS Electronics down in front of the Channel 1 up for us. Well, we need to call Jolene. Because we had. We did most of the storms off of Channel 2 and Channel 3 and road bridges is what everyone usually is. Well, we'll get that fixed and we'll get on this. Different say you have to go insurance generator thing a little harder, I think, maybe. <coughs> wonder when, I wonder when that grant application was. Yeah, I have that yeah. <clears throat> All right, thanks. Do you expect Jeff today? Well, when they move prom, they switch prom around. I don't know if he had to work prom, so he'll be he'll be. Are you familiar with these bids? Do you know what's Floor going on? What about the bids? The bids. You don't yeah, know. He okay. Has I'll not take care of that. On the bids at all. Okay. Yeah. Uh, from my understanding, I, he said something to that the other day that I believe it was uh, Abby's was supposed to come down yeah. and start on the. The new area, so we call it things moved. So you didn't say the way We've got two bids one from Abbey Carpet and one from Star Lumber. This is for the new sheriff's area with the vinyl on the tile and the carpet mm -hmm. in the new area. And then he also bid for the dispatch office. Oh, okay. Um, I wasn't aware we were going to do carpet well, in there. Honestly, I wasn't either. Anyway, the the Abbey bid came in at five thousand three hundred fifty four oh four. If you add the two together, and the Star Lumber bid was six thousand seven ninety six sixteen. Well, what if we keep them separate? I mean, as in doing. Maybe we just do it all. Yeah. But I, do I don't think we can until we do. Aren't they going to move some walls and stuff? In the yeah. Dispatch? I but believe I, that was including what well, would be my old office that wait. we're going to take out. They measured 
that in, yes. I believe I believe they measured that because I have heard it been access to the re, re, after the wall's yes. been out. This is yes, totally redoing the, the whole floor. new yeah. area, yeah. from my understanding. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to start getting that down here. That we need to get the new place. The new place needs to be done so, 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 so I can move my office and tear out the wall and start all that. Because they were trying to tear my wall out with me still in there. I didn't but I didn't. Star Lumbers is six thousand. Yeah, that figure right there is their total. Their yeah. bid is funky. It's <coughs> Abby carpeted yet the two together is five thousand three fifty four oh four. Okay, we're looking at the same materials and everything. Uh, Jeff told me they were. I don't know. Yeah, that's your five thousand three fifty four oh four. Um, like I said, I just have the copies. I don't deal with them directly. So okay. I'm assuming that's you bid apples to apples. Now we had the bid from. Uh, been long over here, but he just bid it all in carpet. He never got back with Jeff to bid the vinyl and you know that they're going to redo down there. His bid for all carpet was five thousand six hundred and sixteen dollars. So. Well, now you got me really confused. He was going to carpet where we're going to put some vinyl. Yeah. yeah. Originally, Jeff was going to carpet everything. Uh huh. And that's what Ben bid on. And we had trouble getting the bid done. Mm -hmm. And Jeff was supposed to get back with Ben and say, we changed our minds, but we've never gotten another bid back from him. He got back to him. We never got anything back there. He told me he did. Okay. So, I don't know. What's well, been going on for? Like I said, I haven't dealt with this a lot, so, so I'm just, so the, I don't yeah, know. It's been since January. So, I guess what I need is approval for him to get this from Abby Carpets, since they're really good. <clears throat> really like a local person to do it. <coughs> if possible. Uh, okay, I'll make a motion. We accept. Yeah. Yeah. We want to look at this before you decide. Right. This is look, this is just for carpet everywhere, and we're not going to do that. Now, now they want the hallway vinyl or final or tile or whatever and um, that back part of that back long room yeah. where you use it for booking I believe it's going to be it's going to be yeah. booking uh, in uh, toxicalizer and the yeah. idea of the vinyl was in it's case we bring fun. drugs in it's we don't want to throw it up all over the carpet yeah. Yeah. Sure. So and you got to have it down the hall with the two yes. it would be yes. it would be better yeah, a lot of yeah. 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 cleaner yeah. 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 cleaner through that way uh, it's the idea behind I believe 53 and 54 on that yes It's actually cheaper than right. Mm -hmm. okay. It's still cheaper than it. it yeah. I don't think vinyl is going to cost less than the carpet. Right. I think it's going to be higher. That's what I'm speculating. But I can't really tell by looking at this. This bit is hard to read. Yeah. It's confusing. It's jumbled all together. I think. We accept the bid from Abbey Carpet for $5,354.04. I second motion. We've been moved and seconded. We accept the bid from Abbey Carpet for the uh, sheriff's remodel for $5,354.04. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. So maybe get started on something. Tomorrow. Be nice. Okay. Maybe they'll wait for you to get out of your office before they tear the wall down there. 
Should be better digs, anyhow. When that's done. I can actually shut a light off at night. I have no control over light switches in my office. <laughs> that would be nice. So it's it's lit up 24 hours a day, whether I'm in there or not, because it's all. Well, it's well, wired in directly with the dispatcher's lens. Nice. Yeah, it looks like you're working right down hard. I've never got down to end come to that one door anyhow. Yeah, and to have, have us down there in the corner for your office. 24 hours a day. It'll give you more room anyhow. Yeah, it'll, give, it'll give a lot more room. Do they, if they need to do this, we just on. do they call me out of my office and I'll just walk down the hallway just a little bit more steps, but it's no big Yeah, but even for I said there aren't they booked them in the closet down there and stuff? Yeah, right there. the closets. And mm -hmm. It's kind of a... The Harbor Trove working out of a little shoebox. Because I think once in time it's going to come down to just a central booking place because of fingerprinting. It, the states want the mandate that they change it to electronic pull. And I think it's going to get to where all the police departments are just going to have to, you know, they're going to have to break into one place and you would have a little bigger place to do it. Do you do the booking for the city too now? A lot of times they do their own booking, but then after that we're responsible for it. But a lot of times we'll pick them up and bring them in from Cedar Stafford or Maxville. But I think it's going to come down to the point where they're going to have to be like Great Ben and all of their, they bring theirs all to one central location. Because it, all the towns in Barton County take, on their arrest, they take them to Barton County Jail and it's all done there. Well, well that makes sense because that's where the jail is. That's the, the jail is. And I, we're still going to, they're going to have to bring one central location, then we're still going to have to be responsible sure. since we don't have a jail. But I'm not sure how statute reads, but I think we're only actually responsible once they're in jail for the transport you back and forth. I don't know if we, but I think we might still be responsible since we don't have our own jail for the transport and everything else. Okay. Well, that should help that situation tremendously. I hope so. <laughs> Good. Instead of us having to go different places and things like that. Uh, Maxville's pretty good about transporting their own, though. But no, I once you normally take care of a problem in town, you don't have another problem for several days. It's not like the other camps where you go you know, just escalate. So they do a lot of their own transporting. So we'll, with the other towns, we we'll, you know, have to do it from other locations. Thank you. Thanks, Rob.